Todd Smith, I'm a Senior Sales Engineering Manager for the U.S. commercial side of Citrix and I cover basically the Northeast and East Central. So for 2019, it's really focusing on general purpose computing, uh, focusing on expanding our customer base, as well as driving more utilization into the cloud. So as we're looking for customers to go from an on-prem to a cloud uh, deployment, allowing them to do it in a, in their, at their own pace using our hybrid model. IGEL helps further, further those priorities in a couple of ways. One of them is it makes uh, the cloud journey much more affordable because a lot of times included in the cloud journey is the replacement of the desktops themselves, replacement of aging infrastructure, aging devices, and IGEL has the opportunity to leverage existing devices, con converting them over to a thin client-like managed device, as well as their own individual, you know, IGEL's own individual thin client. IGEL has a great fit with Citrix. When you look at Citrix, there's three core values that we focus on, being security, choice, uh, and, and user experience. IGEL fits right in the middle of the security story, so it's a great conversation when working with IGEL and our customers. I think that's what makes it unique when working with IGEL, uh, when you're asking about software approach, right? Um, IGEL doesn't have a dependency on hardware, and I think that's a cool story because it brings the flexibility aspect, and that's what Citrix is all about, and giving the customers the flexibility, and IGEL brings that to the table, just being able to support any endpoint device with their operating system, you know, software first approach. So one place where IGEL really helped benefit our customer, uh, we were doing a project with a state university uh, in the Northeast, and one of the things they wanted to do is they wanted to eliminate and replace all of their public access computers. Libraries, computer labs, general purpose uh, computing devices. One of the things they wanted to do is move over to a virtual desktop as an option. They didn't want to have to replace the devices themselves, but they needed to have an update to something. So what they were able to do is set aside the budget that they were going to use for desktop refresh, repurpose that for iGEL devices, which were much more cost effective and affordable, and then be able to take the additional cost savings and apply it towards getting more virtual desktops out into the workspace and improving that overall user experience. Partnering with the local IGEL team um, is a good experience. They, they're focusing on the same things that we are, right, in user computing. They have the same goals. Open-minded, you know, willing to share resources, go out meetings jointly with us. Uh, so for sure, when working with IGEL, you feel like there's a partnership in there and you're not really just going just to take a deal down. You're going in for the long run. IGEL's been a great partner to work with, uh, especially where they understand the technology, they understand the conversations around desktop virtualization. They also know where a lot of failed deployments have been. So benefiting of, of using IGEL or leveraging the IGEL team has been really helpful in understanding where the customers are having pain points and identifying opportunities for us to go together and att attract those not only for IGEL themselves, but also with the IGEL partner community as well, which almost every IGEL partner that we've come across are also Citrix partners. The challenge out there for every business is around changing the business model, or, and that's a challenge, because we life, we, customers love to have legacy systems around forever. There's still mainframes out there. They're also challenging the way they're approaching their go-to-market strategy. And we need partners who are constantly in that challenger mindset whether it be from the challenger sales perspective or also the challenger customer perspective. The windows and the timelines have become much more shorter. There's aggressiveness on the time to market. And there's also a challenge out there of what do I do with all these old devices? I don't want to get rid of them. I want to repurpose them and replace them as they fail as opposed to replace them in a, in a traditional forklift mentality. I think one of the big things with iGEL uh, you know, is the focus on growth to the point where it's a legitimate competitor product, but it's also got the, his, the history of being a great engineering company uh, across multiple different technologies. Some of the things that are coming out there where th with connecting the iGEL devices into a Citrix environment, you know, whether it be a virtual desktop or a virtualized application stack, being able to really secure that endpoint uh, and be able to manage that endpoint without having to worry about sending a technician out there. It's very simple to FedEx a, a new device out to someone. They know that the blue wire plugs into the blue socket and it, they're up and running. There's not a lot of change that has to occur. That's what's adding driving the simplicity. IT, IT leaders have 
more important things and more important projects to spend their money on than doing a lot of desk side support.